Hey guys, this is Kyle from Wicked Edge. Had a request from a customer today who's got a Generation 3 Pro and he's having some issues with the knife kind of rocking in the clamp as well as uh, just putting an initial grind on a knife that he made. Um, so basically the knife that he has is similar in blade shape to the ZT where it's just got one flat spot right there and then the rest of the knife is tapered. So the way that you want to clamp this knife is clamp it right in there, right on the flat spot and then it should be locked in place and you can mess with the tension adjustment. So also if you're having an issue, the 2017 generation three sharpener that I'm using here has a tension adjustment on the back side. So as if you watch the jaws here, as I move this, it actually tightens them. So you can adjust your clamping tension. So if you have a knife that doesn't have a flat spot like this, say for instance, like it's just like up at the, uh, up towards the tip of the blade, you can clamp it. And if you get a little tilt like that, then just adjust your clamp, your your tension and try it again and that should really firmly hold it place so and then it's not gonna move on you back and forth this way as well you just have to make sure you're using enough tension I will advise just uh, so you know if you use too much clamping tension to start the vise is gonna have a really hard time wanting to close so just try it and then ease it up a little bit try it again until you find the find the right tension for the knife so Going back, gonna clamp this knife right here to the flat spot. And then um, I'll find the, uh, find the bevel angle. So basically, I'm just gonna put a stone on and watch how the grind is being created on the edge. Now, when you're doing, this knife already has an edge established on it, but if you're a knife maker and you've got an edge that, a knife that doesn't have an edge on it and you're trying to, uh, you're trying to create that edge, you want to pay attention to the thickness of the knife just before the edge. If the knife is thicker here and it doesn't taper like the, Z, the, the, like the ZT does, then you're not going to be able to get a really acute angle on it. You're going to need to start wider. Um, so typically that's going to be maybe in a 25 degree range or something. Um, if you do, if you are after a, uh, a target angle of say 20 degrees or less and you do have a really thick knife where it's thick right at the edge, then you're gonna spend a really long time trying to reprofile it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a process. And if, if that's the case, then I recommend using an electric sharpener, um, like a, like a something that's something with a motor, to do the initial grind and then coming back in with the wicked edge to, to do the final sharpening on it. So, again, sharpening every single knife. Every time you sharpen a knife, you want to use this marker, and find your angle. And you just make some passes with a fine diamond stone until you find an angle where that marker comes off. So you, as you can see here, I'm moving this as I make each pass. So I'll make a pass, move it out wider, make another pass, move it out wider. And you can kind of see how that grind line is climbing up to the edge. So as I'm moving this outwards, So that's it right there. See all the markers gone. Um, and, uh, and the angle that I'm at, I'm actually out at 26 and a half degrees. And just for good measure, I'm just gonna put it, put it to 27, um, just to really be sure that I'm apexing the blade. So again, if you're not matching the bevel and you're just starting for a perfect target angle and say so you just, you know you want this knife to be 20 degrees, you can do it. It's just gonna take a really long time to do the profiling. So if you're not looking to remove a lot of metal or get the knife sharpened quickly, just, just match what you've got there. And again, if you're starting from scratch and you don't have a bevel, just know that if you have a thicker blade, then you wanna start out wider on the angle. So, I'll put on my, my 100 and 200 grit stones. This knife's fairly sharp already, um, so, um, actually, no, it's, it's actually really dull. <laughs> but it has a bevel on it already, um, so I don't need to use the 100 grit stones. I'm just gonna use the 200 grit. And I always start off just scrubbing one side at a time. Right, 
and then I'll check the other side for a burr. You want to make the metal fit, curl over, and you want to be able to feel that with your finger. And you can use a cotton ball or a Q-tip and just rub it up the other side just to sell it snags. But I can feel it with my finger, and I cannot stress enough how much how important this part of the process is. Without finding that burr, there's no way for you to know if the bevel on one side is intersecting with the bevel on the other side. So that, that burr is, is absolutely critical, especially if you're reprofiling a knife or starting from scratch. And just be aware that if you are starting off from scratch on a, on, on a knife, a wider angle is going to save you a lot of time, but you're going to be, you're, you can spend easily 10 minutes just scrubbing one side before you can find that burr. But I found it here in almost no time at all, so now I'll switch to the other side and do the exact same thing. That burr is already formed on this side. So now what I do is I'll just start sharpening both sides at once, making a full pass starting with the stone all the way down against the back of the knife and finishing with the bottom of the stone coming off the tip of the knife. You just want to make sure that your stone is flat against the edge with the entire stroke. Typically I'll do about 20 strokes per stone per side, and then I'll switch. And for a working edge, I'll finish at a 1000 grit, maybe even a 600 grit, just for an everyday carry knife. If I'm trying for a, a mirror finish, then I'll go up much finer, and I'll also do a lot more passes per stone. All right, so I'm done. This is my everyday carry, so I'm just gonna leave it right there at the 600 grit. But you can see how the bevel is, is really even. It's got a really nice, small scratch pattern to it. And all you do is just after that, just dismount it and you're done. Thanks for watching.